All right, welcome back to the channel. In front of me, you can see I got my one wheel or future motions one wheel. This is the XR Plus version of the board. There's a couple different versions out there. They released the Haptic Buzz a few weeks ago, about six weeks back. I did a video, I'll put it up here if you want to check that out. But this is just the firmware updates only now as of November 20th, available for the XR series boards. Again, this is the Plus. We did the firmware update, I'm going to take it for a spin. Just want to make sure nothing happens with the board, doesn't brick it, doesn't do anything. Where's my phone? So let me launch the One Wheel app. And immediately I get the haptic, I'll put it up on the screen, the haptic buzz uh, update notification. And let me turn my board on. And launch the app. I see the board, let me connect to the board and you're going to wait a moment. It says active and I'm pretty sure you give it a moment or two here and we're going to get the notification. There it is. Firmware update for the board. Keep the phone or tablet within five feet of your one wheel throughout the entire update and do not use your phone or multitask until the update's complete. All right, and it also looks like they want me to plug this in. So I've got my power cord right here. And I think this is gonna take us about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. Do not disconnect. And start update. Is it doing anything yet? It didn't do anything yet. Let me hit start update again. There it goes. So I'm not sure it didn't, why it didn't take the first time. So I hit, hit that start update more than once. Uploading the firmware, 1% done. About five minutes remaining. So I'm gonna fast forward this section and I will be back in five minutes. And I'm also noticing as I do the firmware update that the LED on my, you can't see it from that side, on my board is flashing very fast as it's doing the firmware update as well. So again, be back in a few minutes as soon as this update completes. Okay, and we're back. Looks like the update is complete. It says that the board is ready to ride. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the power, connect the board. I'm gonna take it for a quick spin. I'll be right back. I'll let you know what I think. Okay, we're back. And I can tell you that the board runs good. I didn't notice anything unusual in the way that the board rode. I will tell you, if you make this update, I'm not aware of any way to downgrade the board once you do the firmware update. So keep that in mind. If somebody knows differently, feel free to post it in the comments. The other thing I'll mention is that if you don't want to do the firmware update, um, you don't have to. What you can do is turn off your mobile data and turn off your Wi-Fi within the One Wheel app, and that'll prevent the update from being pushed to the board. I hope you found this useful. Some of us old time riders are still riding the XRs. We love the XRs. This is the XR Plus series again. I love the board. It's great for me. And uh, that's really it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.